That's crazy. Ready to all. Again, I will start my video from the Usain Bolt Stadium. Right now, we are looking over Prospect Beach, which is in St. James on the, on the west coast. St. James here in Barbados is on the west coast of the island. It is known as a gold coast or the platinum coast. And it is where lots of rich and famous stay. And lots of rich and famous also build their houses here in, in, on the west coast. Lots of white people frequent the west coast. White people such as tourists and some locals. And the guy who owns Virgin Atlantic, Richard Branson, he also has a house on the west coast as well. Here in Barbados. So the west coast stretches from Brandon's Beach all the way down to Mullins Beach in St. Peter, which is which is northwest. Again, we are looking at the rear end of the UCM Boat Stadium and Sports Complex. And in the background above, we can see the Arabara Center for Creative Imagination, which is a part of the University of the West Indies at Cave Hill Campus. You know, take you guys along University Hill and past the KFA campus and show you guys the different fac facilities and faculties of the University of the West Indies. So this is the Usain Bolt Stadium. The Usain Bolt Stadium was constructed here in 2010 and it is a part of the University of the West Indies at KFA campus. And next door will be the archive department where you can go and trace your genealogy and your family history. Or some history of Barbados as well. It is, it is a government department. And next door will be the pest control unit as well. Animal control unit, sorry. Belong to the RSPCA. Yes, there's the Usain Bolt Stadium, the rear end. I don't know if I can put my phone over here because I'm that tall that I can reach. This is the sports complex here. I will have to show you guys from above University Hill. So this is the animal control unit and the archives department. This is next door to the Usain Bolt Stadium. This is the archives department here. In the background of the animal control unit here. And this is the entrance to the Usain Bolt Stadium. And above here is the University of the West Indies at KFA campus. And again, the Usain Bolt Stadium, the entrance. So those watching from Jamaica, you can first of all begin it yourself. And we do have something here in Barbados in honor of a Jamaican, one of, one of the world's famous athletes, Usain Bolt, the stadium. Here is named after him. There is a stadium here, not a stadium. One of the stadiums here is named after him. The main stadium is at Waterford, St. Michael, and that is a national stadium, and that is under construction at the moment. But the Usain Bolt Stadium is also a stadium here in Barbados. That's good. You're looking back at the University of the West Indies School for Research, for Graduate Studies and Research. And this is the entrance to the Lazaretto. And back to Walma Lodge and Black Rock. 
and again the Yuri School, the, the Yuri School for Graduate Studies and Research. I'm now walking up the steps to the university here. So, University of the West Indies is to the west of the island. This is on the border with the parish of St. James, St. Michael, and St. James. And then close proximity to Bridgestone as well. That's the Bridgestone port. That's the water harbor. We are looking down towards this is University Hill now. This is that leads to the University of West Indies. You can see all into the Bridgestone port and the water harbor, which is just down the road. The Bridgestone port and the water harbor, where you can see the Gantry Cranes in the port. This is all the port yard here, the port. You can see the Gantry Cranes in the port. Down below here will be Black Rock, and again the steps to back to the Usain Bolt Stadium. Mm. I'm not walking up University Hill. Here too. Uh, this is the Usain Bolt Stadium here, a sports complex. A overview now. This is the Usain Bolt Stadium and sports complex below here. So I'm now reached the University of the West Indies. This is all the University of the West Indies here at KSO campus. The first building we will come across as part of the University of the West Indies will be the Arabara Center for Creative Imagination. And this is the three W's Oval, which is the sporting complex. The three W's Oval, three W stand for World Walker and Weeks. Two national heroes, and they were a one of the to fight World, to fight Walker, and to Everton Weeks. And this is the Arabara Center for Creative Imagination. And this is the UV Basketball Court. That's great. This is the Walker University here. This is the three W's over. Rural Walker and Wheat. Also a part of the University of the West Indies. And this is the basketball court here. And this is the Republic Bank. University, the university's creative arts program. I'm not walking up to university here. And this is the Rex Netherford Center. That's Rex Re Netherford Complex. This sign says the Faculty of Culture, Creative and Performing Arts. And this is the Rex Netherford Performance Complex here.
and the road to the left is Paradise Heights and Water and Drive. It takes you back to the Faculty of Culture, Creative and Performing Arts. Looking back down the University Hill. There's a Red Netherford Complex. And you can see the West Coast from here as well. And this is the three W's oval. And it's sponsored by Sagi Car as well. And this is the CARICOM research park here. This is the CARICOM Research Park. Oh, it's a part of the University of the West Indies, like KFA campus. Mm -hmm. And these are the dorms for the UV students. Those international students can stay in these dorms here. And this is the Alistair McIntyre building. And again, the Owen Arthur CARICOM Research Complex, also part of the university. The Owen, Arthur. Owen Arthur was our prime minister, one of our prime ministers here. I think it was Barbados' fifth prime minister. Owen Arthur. He passed away last year. They were recently renamed the CARICOM Research Complex after him. And these are dorms here for the university students. So I'm now ascending university here. And this is the Alistair McIntyre building. As well, all a part of the University of the West Indies at Kirkwood campus. These are all the dorms here for the students. And by the way, this is also a part of the ABC Highway. So the ABC Highway starts from the airport, which is in the south, runs all through the Pine, runs all through Wilby, the Pine, Target Hall, and runs through Warrens. And it will end down here at University of the West Indies at KFA campus. So Warren is in close proximity to the University of the West Indies at KFA campus. Now approaching one step. One step is the road to the left. So the road straight ahead here is about the Lodge Hill and Warrens. Warrens is the road to the left. I mean, the road straight ahead. Warrens. And by the St. Sun Motors, Corsi Less, and Lodge Hill, and further into Cave Hill, and the road to the right, to the left, sorry. The road to the left takes you back to Wanstead, West Terrace, Husbands, and the Parish of St. James, and the rest of the island.
this road takes you back to one state uh, West Terrace in St. James and back to the NCF. This is the National Cultural Foundation. This is at West Terrace, St. James. Back to University Hill here. And this is one stage part here. Again, you can see the dorms for the U.S. students, for the U.S. students sleep. With the stair rain, especially ones that are not from here, the non-nationals, they stay in these dorms here, along the University Hill, which is just above the, 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 um, the campus. And this is back to Warren State Road. I'm now in the parish of St. James, in Warren State. So this is the rest of the island. St. James here in Barbados is situated along the west to the end of the island. So this is West. This is No West Terrace in St. James that takes you back to the NCF. This is the National Cultural Foundation and West Terrace Primary School. And this is overlooking the University of the West Indies at KFA campus. You can see all the facilities and all the dorms for the Jewish students. And you can see the West Coast in the background. So this is Owen Arthur, Calicom Research Building, the West Netherford Complex. The dorms here on the right, three W's over, the basketball court, and the Louise. The, the university itself, the Arabawa Center for Creative Imagination down below. And this is the West Coast here, an all one state terrace. Yes, guys, thanks for watching. Have a blessed evening.